To begin using the Ripple Payment and Asset Exchange Network, one must first generate a Ripple wallet, which is composed of a public address and private key. A Ripple user's public address may be used as the recipient of a, rip of a Ripple payment or for the establishment of a line of trust. The private key component of a user's wallet is used to access that user's funds by signing transactions, making payments to other users, or altering lines of trust. Generation of a Ripple wallet public-private key pair is performed using a cryptographic algorithm. First, a random seed is generated, and the seed is used to compute a point on the elliptic curve. The point found represents a private generator and a public generator, which are used to compute another point on the elliptic curve. That point represents the final private key, which can be used to generate one or, one or many public keys. Public keys are finally hashed to yield your Ripple address. I'm going to walk you through the code behind generating a Ripple wallet in a library that I've been working on recently. The goal of the library is to say ripple.wallet.generate and it will return you a Ripple address that looks like this and a Ripple secret that looks like this. The documentation for generating a Ripple wallet and the algorithm is in the Ripple wiki and I lean heavily on this description and the cryptography done in the Ripple client, the Ripple client to build this library. In the Ripple directory there is a wallet.js file, and that wallet.js file implements the algorithm needed to generate a Ripple wallet. I'll quickly walk through this. The file requires the Stanford JavaScript crypto library provided by Ripple. It requires Ripple lib and the base58 library for encoding. If we look at the bottom of the generate function, we use the Stanford JavaScript crypto library and we add entropy to make a random number. That random number is our seed and we will use that seed as a master key in order to generate a new Ripple wallet. We pass in the seed to the Ripple wallet and then what we do, <clears throat> we, first, we first take that seed we append it to the first half of the SHA-512 algorithm and that gives us the private generator. Um, then we check on the elliptic curve that, um, and ensure that that private generator is under the curve and if it is, we go on to the next step to create our public generator. Once we have the private and public generators, we can find another point on the curve which represents the private key and if the point is underneath the elliptic curve, then it's a valid private key, and we can use that private key to generate a public key right here. Once we have the public key, that is the key for our Ripple address, and we just need to encode it using the SHA-256 algorithm and the RIPE MD-160 algorithm, which encodes Ripple addresses uh, in the proper format. And finally, once we have a new Ripple wallet, we just return the address and the secret for that wallet. This isn't part of Ripple Lib yet, so I'll show you how to require this. You need to npm install Ripple Wallet, and that will download the Ripple Wallet from Node Package Manager. Then fire up a node server and var lib equals require ripple wallet. Then ripple wallet dot generate will run over that algorithm and 
generate a new address and secret. We can use these, this address and secret to receive funds and sign transactions to send funds on the Ripple network. And you can use the generate function to generate as many random keys and secrets as your heart desires.